Hi, I'm going to show how to do a front wrap cross carry with bunch passes um, with some focus on making it easier. Okay, um, I'm going to find the middle marker. I'm going to um, pin this under my chin, and then I'm going to get the top rails up over my back. You should make sure not to twist the rack. So you should have no twists, you should have the same side showing throughout. Okay, so I'm almost ready. So as you can see, this wrap is now going like all the way from here to here, which is not, you know, that's not how much space the baby needs. And I'm going to think about how much how much width my baby's gonna need. I'm gonna think about where baby's bum is gonna go. Now I'm going to bunch up the wrap until here, which is about how much my demo doll is going to need. And I'm going to take the bottom rail on my shoulder and pull on it. And I'm going to feel the slack move from here. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to take it off this shoulder, lift it up, and pull it, and I will feel slack move here. Okay. So now I should have sort of a pocket for the baby that I'm going to put baby into. I actually have a quite a bit of slack in the top, and I'm also going to tighten that a little. Not, not so much that I can't put baby in, but I want to leave just enough room. So I'm going to lift this and tighten, and this and tighten. Okay, now I'm going to make sure the wrap is gathered over my shoulders, and I will have just about enough space for a small baby, which is what I'm doing the tutorial with. Okay, now I'm going to take baby. I'm going to put baby on my shoulder. I'm going to take my hand and reach through this pocket that I made and pull baby's legs through. Okay. And it looks like I love just about enough space because I can slide baby in easily, but they don't go too far and they're already, baby's actually already supported by the wrap. Um, don't let go of baby as you're wrapping, but this is a demo doll, so I'll show you. Right now, if I let go, baby's not going anywhere. Okay. So, now I'm going to make the seat. Uh, now I've seen a lot of videos where people actually reach between them to pull the fabric between you. That's not a bad idea, but what you want with the seat is you want this bottom rail to be holding up the knees and you want it between the baby's body and your body and you want it to be straight. You don't want to have a ton of material between you. The problem with reaching between you is you might stuff up a ton of material between the two of you, which will actually lead to sag especially with a bigger baby. So what I'm going to do is just going to push the bottom rail up between us just so that, and put baby's knees in position at the same time. And again, I'm going for the bottom rail between us and more or less straight. Okay. So now baby's in position. Material is between us, but not a ton. And now we just need to tighten it. Okay, we're going to start off by tightening the top rail. The way we're going to do this is I'm going to lift this off my shoulder and pull it back. And pull. And as I do this, I'm going to notice the slack move from here. Okay. And when I tighten this, I'm going to pass it to this hand, which is supporting the baby. And now I'm going to finish tightening the rest of the rack. And Make sure to actually tighten the bottom rail. I also try to, try to lift it off the shoulder and pull because, again, the bottom rail is supporting the knees, so you do want it relatively tight. So pull, pass. Okay, same thing on the other side. Lift this top rail up and pull, pull back. You, will, you should feel the slack move from the top rail. Okay, pass to the other hand. Okay, now tighten up the whole shoulder. Make sure to tighten the bottom rail. Okay. Now I'm going to do a bounce. Make sure this is on my shoulders. Put this over and then under baby's legs. And tie with a double knot in the back. Alright, 
And there you are. The top rail should be tight. Um, and baby's knees should be above their bum. And if you want to make, make sure this is extra comfortable, is you can spread you can spread the wrap on your back as wide as is reasonable. All right, there we are.